Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Ted 2 movie thoughts. Now, I was... I was kind of hoping that this would reflect, you know, with it, it starts with this very realistic kind of, you know, argument between the couple. And, well, technically it starts with the dance sequence, but I'm trying to forget that it did. Anyway, yeah, you know, we, we see Ted and Tammy Lynn are having trouble in their marriage, and that's quite realistic. That's, you know, that happens, and they are both very passionate people. Let's, let's go with that. And, yeah, so I, I was wondering if it would reflect that in real life, when a couple who are having problems have a kid to stay together, it usually goes wrong. You know, they're they're thinking, and that you know, they start to say that in this one. You know, having a child will pull us together. We'll, you know, we'll be loving the same person. It'll raising them will be a project that will, you know, that will pull us together and 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 we'll have it together, but. Usually these relationships still end, and now you put a kid into that, you know, situation where, yeah, the, the thing with having a kid is you have to agree on a lot of decisions about the future. You have to agree on how to raise it. Money is an issue. That, you know, that's part of what they're arguing over in this is money. You know, career, you know, the the... Just, you know, how are your lives going to keep flowing out and where? And, you know, are any situations going to have to change? Is someone going to have to take a different job, move to another place and get a new job? All these things to make it work. Some of these are just, you know, long-term relationship issues. But having a kid makes them way more visible and important because, yeah, now there's, you know, I mean... The two people in the relationship, they're adults, you know, if if it just doesn't work out, they can go their separate ways. But now they put a kid in there and yeah, it's so so yeah. And now the movie just ends on the you know yeah, it, it looks like things will go well with you know the the baby. I do approve of the the last several jokes, you know, with the, you know, maybe you can wish him to life, and you know, in in thirty years you can sit together and smoke pot and you know waste your lives. I would want nothing more for my son. And <laughs> Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang. There, yeah. You know, that's, yeah, yeah. And the the, the hashtag joke to, to end. I'm really, I gotta say, I mean, they gave the first one of those away in the trailers. I did not think. But of course, I did like with the first one, there was something they didn't show. Even the red band, they didn't quite show everything. And that last little bit, you know, just... Wow, you know, and yeah, I really love the three hashtag jokes. They are, you know, again, they gave, the first of them is even in the trailer, but the, the, yeah, you know, the, the, the gag bong, you know, with, oh yeah, isn't it, isn't it hilarious? I got it at a bachelorette party and, yeah, the, the two of them, 
don't really want to put in my mouth. Just, yeah. And, and Ted's like, oh, come on, just, so he's, and takes the picture and then, yeah, yeah, that's, and the and and then of course the the final one which yeah and I honestly when when they were in the car and it's like you know oh we got all this weed we don't want to be you know arrested I thought that there might be some kind of gag with maybe it ended up on the cutting room floor or something where they would be you know pulled over or something but you know the the original plot for this was apparently going to be you know the two of them smuggling a ton of weed across uh, you know across the Mexican border or something but then you know that that movie came out that I, yeah Jennifer Aniston as a sex worker yeah I, I don't watch current comedies and that movie's trailer is you know d does well at at explaining why now yeah but the 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 bit where they discovered it was pretty funny with you know oh man look I've, it almost never happens and turns his face around and camera pulls up and the music that was, that was pretty good and the you know in general yeah I, I laughed at the the pop humor in this and I usually like if you if you just ask me directly like do you like pot humor you know do you like jokes about people smoking pot I would basically no I n not don't find it funny when you know by comparison you know the 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 running gag of of googling and then you end up with you know black yeah yeah guilty pleasure but that I do find funny but Ted Mc, Ted, Seth MacFarlane can make pot funny for me it yeah and the 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 you know, I, I quite like the, the early stuff with the the laptop, you know, where it's, ugh, I can never get a signal on you. Can I use your laptop? Oh, yeah, sure. And then, you know, just, ah, what is it up? There's so much porn. Why are you going through my private files? Private files, there are thousands of these. I can't believe this organization, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise. And you know, this I I got a disease. Just you know, I, I, let's. Do, oh no, can we, can we? I mean, if I just delete the files, no, 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 they can reconstruct these. No, 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 we gotta take a hammer to this. And you know, out in the the alley. Okay, this is good. No, 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 they can reconstruct these. We gotta bury you know, in in the harbor, you know, and and dive and plant it down there, you know. Was I the only one who got like a flashback to the first the mask with the, the diver down there and the, anyway. Yeah, it's yeah, that was that was quite funny. And then I'm not certain, but I think there was a callback when you know when when they were in the trial and John said something like how does that taste with the tongue in your, you know, and, and Ted's the first time, yeah, what? <laughs> that was pretty good, that was, yeah. And the, I gotta say, I really like the Monopoly bit with, the, you know, just completely, you know, deadpan delivery of, oh, you know, I, I don't, these couple of, you know, I, I got four houses, I'm thinking of bulldozing them, building a hotel. You know what? I'm going to circle, you know, I'm, I'm going to go around, drive around, earn us 200 on the spot. Just, yeah. And the, again, they, they give us one away in the truth, but still very much enjoyed the, the lawyer thing with, you know, they... Yeah, you know, objections sustained, just, yeah, all that stuff.
And I, I already mentioned in the review, I really wish that Liam Neeson had had one more scene. I, he was awesome in that one. It's just because he is so serious. He is just, you're sure this is okay. I was told that it's just for kids. You're not going to follow me home. No one's going to find out about it. I'm going to remember that you did this for me. I really wish he should have come back in one of the trial scenes or something, but yeah. And, you know, love the, the you know, when, when Ted talks with, with, you know, haven't I seen you some? You're that teddy bear that came to life, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you know, I was thinking, where had I seen that face? Wow. And then, you know, so how'd you get into this business? Just crazy about cum? Nah, not, not really, but just, and, you know, very quickly and, you know, without too much hassle, you know, suddenly Ted and John are by themselves in, you know, a storage room for all the, yeah. And then the, and again, you know, some of this you see in the trailer, you, see, you know, you know overall where it's going, but then you have the little, you know, the, the, John, you know, wanting to, to hand over, you know, it's, you know, I, I did a great, uh, I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's that little, because it's kind of like, you know, they're, they're buddies and one of them is donating sperm for the other and that's a really great thing you know that means they're gonna have a kid because of this it's a great you know thunder buddies for life and the, this whole but come is nasty and that is just so you know and then it's like oh, okay how about you know, catch <laughs> and and uh, yeah and and then the nurse comes in I, um, you know, it's it's okay. That was that was the the stuff we rejected. And then, yeah, wow. And you know, as much as the the Comic Con fight was probably trying to, you know, re you know get get some of the the stuff in the first, some of the fight stuff in that trying to trying to regain you know yeah re redo that get you know lightning in a bottle again still there was some really great stuff in there you know goku yeah, and then you know the the excuse me cannon gets and you know jack sparrow is about to swing back and then falls down and then lilu goes you know, flips all the way, and it's just, yeah, that was, wow. And I do, you know, the, the, the humor with, with Michael Dorn in this is mostly just mean-spirited, you know, prank kind of stuff, so I didn't find that particularly funny. I do still like that they did get him you know, right up in there, in the, the TNG wharf, you know, n not even, not even the, the DS9, more, you know, newer, slightly, a little less color to the, no, 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 TNG wharf, you know, and yeah, I, I really wish, you know, they'd done more, maybe just more different kinds of jokes, with with them and and with Warburton, you know, just it was funnier than the first one, but yeah, it, there there's some pretty good stuff in there, and <laughs> the two where's Waldo with with music, with yeah, that was that was really good, and <laughs> yeah, the the whole thing with I I'm really glad that they did Donnie again, which again, it's it's a retread. It's the same thing as in the first one. But Rabisi as this 
awkward, psychotic guy is just funny. He's just really, really creepy and really, really funny. And <laughs> I'm so bad for the guy because, I mean, I haven't seen him in too much where he's not supposed to be funny, but I get like he's an amazing actor. You know, I, I watched The Gift. He's an amazing actor, but man, is he funny when he's just this because because he's he's kind of short which again so am I so I can joke about it and and he's you know he he just has this kind of when when he's looking really intense he get kind of creepy and the, yeah also obviously with the comic-con fight Seyfried coming face to face with with a golem was <laughs> golem she's she's a model <laughs> Do I have those eyes? No, you have, or, or what was it? Give us the precious eyes. Wow. I don't know. I, I still think she has eyes like a Chinaman. But the, yeah, there's, there's some really, really good stuff in there. And, you know, the occasional, you know, when, when Ted and John would fight, like you know the you know they open the fridge there's only one beer and you know fight over that and and it's in the background while she's making this important call and you know like you know, shaking up the beer and beating them and the yeah that was pretty good and the you know the the montage where they're like you know studying the law and then you know he suddenly one of the you know yeah drawers and you know smacks them and yeah and and of course the you know the the close to end gag was it's like in the first you know you kind of expect that there would be some kind of you know, because the first one had this kind of thing, and yeah, you know, and they even say, I, I wish the movie had been more self, I, I never, I, I haven't watched either of those 21 and 22 Jump Street movies, I, not into Jonah Hill, not, not, not into, I don't know, Magic, my, Channing Tatum, do not want, but I quite like the the even in the trailer for the second one. You know, they they basically said, you know, no, no, we just want the same thing over again because that's what made everybody happy the first time. You know, very clearly, very tongue in cheek, saying, you know, we're we're doing the same thing over. I wish this had done that more because it is so clearly trying to do so many the same things again. But yeah, the at the very end, you know, ah, uh, this is because you made me think, you know, it was retarded, and yeah, and it it was still pretty funny, and the 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 Samantha thing was I was so upset. I posted a frowny face on Facebook. How am I gonna explain that? That's that's pretty funny. That's a that's a good little yeah yeah. This, <laughs> we do take the internet and our internet social lives way too seriously. So that was that was a pretty good. And you know then they do the the heart thing. And even even when you know Ted, now that you're a person, do you have something to say? You know, I, of course they're going to go with the heart. I I had kind of wanted him to say some kind of joke, but yeah. I did like the thing with the, uh, you know, the, the the various, you know, there were at least a couple networks. You know, like CNN, they were like arguing back and forth. And the, the Fox, you know, thought, are you really going to tell me? No, we agree. We always agree. That was, that was pretty good.
and I suppose that more or less and you know of course I mean there's Sam Jones I think is his name you know Flash Gordon and the, <laughs> how, how low one and you know that's that's all I have for protein if I lost the C wow yeah but then you know if he has lost the C and he has already eaten all his semen then there's only semen left of course but uh, see I took like a, a gay self like you know self sex kind of joke added some cannibalism I could totally write for for like you know current current comedy right anyway yeah so there's there's him mr. flash Gordon and you know I I I loved him in the first one. He's good in this, but you know, but I do not know the the football player I want to say that they you know gotten this, but it was really really funny. You know, the whole oh yeah, we got to have a plan and you know, oh just you know, just write your name. Um make it out to to John and Ted and 12. Wow. Subtle. And then, you know, just breaks the thing, and then he opens the, the windows that they can get in, and, you know, okay, now you give him a hand job into this plastic cup, you know, it, yeah, I, several times the movie does that, the, the, you know, I like to think of it as kind of the, the South Park thing, where you just state the situation that you're in. And that by itself is hilarious, you know. But yeah, and you know, of course I'm wearing this. I, I don't want to get any semen on, on me. Yeah. And then, you know, it's the the, you know, yeah, yeah. They they lift the sheets and like you know, that's that's what was in the suitcase in Pulp Fiction. That's it exactly. Just, yeah, you know, obviously, Ving Rhames cut the, the, the member of this man, and, and in all these years it has finally regrown, and, you know, it, it is no less glowy and showy, and that's it in the rest okay and then it, hey well, what's going on and then you know perfect spiral throw and the, yeah and the yeah yeah and that gets me to you know Sam Joe so they they leave him and you know I love each time Ted is like a little annoyed or something and then you know he does something or other and you know in, in the court Ted, sharp. Okay, fine. And he brings out the you know smartphone, and you know, walking away from from Sam Jones, you know, he just takes a little pebble and just throws it. Just you know, he's annoyed, and then psh, smashes the the window of of the you know this big expensive car Sam Jones has, and starts you know the the car alarm goes off, and they run off, and. And I'm glad they brought that back at the Comic Con fight thing. You know that was a, a real good. Also because it starts with this, you know, ah oh, yeah, man, yeah, big smile. And hey, you busted up my car. You know, it's just yeah. And the let's see, what's there at least one more where Ted. Oh yeah, and then you know when they go in for you know to meet Morgan Freeman, the Lord. This is a nice place. And, you know, put just one foot up on the glass table and, like, you know, well, there's our first impression. <laughs> and the, yeah, the, the, a couple of things with, like, Freeman doesn't get to do an awful lot in this, but I do quite like, you know, the, the, you know, you know, John 
tells him off and then he says yes okay and then after that I'd like to take your case <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, we're not even sure that we want you for a case okay yeah sure <laughs> you know and the I suppose that more or less covers it. Most of the courtroom stuff was really just the, you know, the movie really obviously just, you know, I mean, one, one guy said it was about gay marriage, in, you know, just in general, it's, yeah, it's a real obvious, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's probably specifically about gay marriage, but it just in general, it's the movie very obviously telling the audience. You know, I mean, the the you know, the, the other lawyer. I saw you eat alone. You're a loser. You know, the other lawyer. He's like right wing America. You know, he's got the the he's he's old. He's white. He's white haired, and he's like talking. You know. God only granted man, you know, the, the, the status of man to one species. And, you know, I'm making him sound all southern, but it practically comes with, with just, it's right there in the character. You know, it's just a bear is not a man, is all. And, yeah, it's, it's, just real obvious. I, I kind of wish that they had at least tried to put a little bit more humor in there because the few jokes they do have in there are pretty good. You know, the the when when Tamlin's on the stand and you know is because she cracks immediately and and just said you know yeah he doesn't have one because he's a toy you know he's a toy teddy bear. What, what do you want? You know, and the, the, yeah, and, and Ted yelling at, you know, objection, you can't do that. <laughs> and the, yeah, it, the, you know, and, and that, I, I don't remember what it was, but yeah, there was some, you know, some, oh yeah, yeah, the, the thing, you know, do you, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's John saying that Ted is more of a person than some of the people he knows. I mean, Steven Tyler, come on, you know. And and the other Lord's like, objection. I'll allow it. <laughs> I guess he's not an Aerosmith fan. And yeah, it's just <laughs> Yeah, there there were a few really good jokes in there, so I kind of feel like they should have. But you know, after the you know, the, the real climax kind of was when, you know, when John dies and, you know, so I'm glad that they didn't try to, you know, get the, the last trial bit to, you know, be longer because, you know, it's, it's obvious the moment that Morgan Freeman's on the case, you know, when Morgan Freeman speaks, people listen and people pay to hear him talk so yeah you know it's so so of course he's gonna win the case and you know and he earns himself another freckle and I suppose that more or less covers it but but yeah you know briefly about John's death and the you know it was kind of funny, it was especially her reaction was really good, and that was also a good contrast because, yeah, it kind of it's pretty messed up. It's F. Scott Fitzgerald up seriously what they just did, and yeah, it it's you know just a few lines about how messed up it is 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 good is is necessary but then you know when the heart you know you could add it from single to complicated well maybe and dating johnson oh we'll have to talk about it. oh good talk yeah just i don't really begrudge either of them they they did what they could i i'm not entirely sure where it it just didn't quite work i don't think 
but yeah, it's, you know, and, and yeah, it's definitely not either of them. They can both be very charming, and she is very charming in this, and yeah, so, but, but yeah, it's, I, I quite like the bit with, you know, where they're talking about pop culture and, you know, the, the Rocky, you know, come on, you know, what was it? Clubber Lang, you know, Mr. T's character from Rocky Three. Are those the, are, are those those boxing moves? Oh, come on. Rocky, she doesn't know Rocky, you know, and and then he, he I think he hums the that the the training montage song, right? And, and yeah, never mind. It's been ages. I have watched Rocky. Trust me. I'm I'm not like the president in that one college humor video. I have watched Rocky, and it hadn't been talked up enough. That's an awesome movie. Anyway, yeah, you know, the, the song, and then she's like, I'm not going to know the movie by you humming the song that I don't know. <laughs> this has got a pretty decent point there. And then, you know, I spent all my brain power going to college, you know, and the, do, do you know who wrote... <laughs> It was who wrote The Great Gatsby? Who? F. Scott Fitzgerald. Okay, what did Scott Fitzgerald do to you? What? Well, that's his name. F. Scott. Ah, uh, it must. Be. Well, what? What is his name? Francis. No, it can't be. It's you gotta be hiding something. Otherwise, you wouldn't go by F. And that, yeah, that was pretty funny. That was, yeah, that was nicely done. And the the various bits about. You know how she went to what was it Arizona University or something like that, and how he's a typical Boston guy, and yeah, those some pretty good. And they got a few cracks in at Tammy Lynn. That's what Ted did in that first fight, and uh, yeah, I quite like the the black you know, cashier lady, her various lines, you know, <laughs> dropping the, the N-word, and you just said it twice, is this really, is this the, is this the thing, is this something people are saying, and then, you know, the thing about, you know, going from, you know, and getting, getting, you know, going from Africa, and then telling you you're being raped by James Jefferson, and just, yeah, she was, she was funny. I, I quite liked her. And the, you know, you make history come alive. You know, just, yeah. The the little reaction sometimes really just sells it. But I suppose that pretty well covers it. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.